Let's go to Jim Goodnight. He is the head of SAS. He joins us from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the home of the annual Business Council meeting, where he is meeting with other executive colleagues. Jim Goodnight, welcome to Bloomberg. Well, thank you. It's good to be here. Now, Jim, you've been quoted as saying that the market has changed in the past 18 months, uh, the market environment. What do you mean by that when you talk about business analytics and business intelligence software? Well, we're seeing more and more companies realizing that with the Im immense amount of data that they have on hand, that they need to put that data to use. It's really a strategic asset. And, and using analytics to be able to forecast customer behavior, uh, who you should loan money to, whether a credit card is uh, being used validly, whether somebody's uh, laundering money. All this can be done with advanced analytics. Now, you've got a lot of competition in this space. For example, IBM, their purchase of SPSS uh, as well as Cognos. Uh, we also know uh, SAP pushing hard as well as Oracle in this space. What do you intend to uh, fend off the competition? Well, you know, we've competed with all of these companies uh, for many years, so it's just more of the same competition as far as we're concerned. You know, our, our list of uh, companies that we compete with is, is, is about 400 long. So in all uh, a lot of different spaces that we're in that the, these other people aren't really in, uh, you know, SPSS, uh, Cognos, they're not really in the banking space at, at the levels that we are. They're not in the retail space at the same levels that we are. Uh, Jim, how do you compete now in the world of free open source uh, software? I know, for example, the program R, you've recently made a lot of the SaaS uh, projects uh, able to interact with the R written software. Is that more the direction you're going to be going? Well, we've all, always run, for example, on Linux, uh, which is an open source operating system. Uh, we support a number of open source uh, web services and, and a number of open source databases. Uh, here we're just supporting R as, a, as another uh, uh, open sourced uh, tool that some of our users like to use in conjunction with SaaS. Uh, Jim, what about the, uh, the use of the Internet as really the delivery medium and the hosting mechanism for a lot of this information, the software as a, a service uh, pro, uh, sort of profile? Is that also where you're going to be putting your, your energy? Well, we certainly are putting uh, uh, some of it in there. Uh, we, we grew our software as a service last year by about 25 percent, so we're very pleased with the growth rates we're seeing in that area. W one of the companies we bought about a year and a half ago called Ideas actually does uh, hel helps hotel establish optimum rates for their rooms so that they can maximize their revenue. And they've got close to 2,000 hotels around the world that use that software. Jim, can you give us any insight into the sales cycle right now? Are you seeing business enterprises step up and actually spend money more rapidly? We saw a huge uh, in, influx of, uh, of, of revenue in the fourth quarter, especially in December. Uh, right now, though, our pipelines look pretty strong for the first quarter and second quarter of this year. But I think uh, there was a huge spending uh, a binge that went on towards the end of the year, you know, and I'm, I'm waiting to see uh, more signs that we're going to have uh, some more of that here in the first quarter. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Jim Goodnight, the head of uh, SAS, uh, a leader in business analytical and business intelligence uh, software.